Terrell Thomas, we're live right now downtown Atlanta at the Glen Hotel for a very special press conference with a gentleman whose face I'm quite sure you recognize now, the one and only DJ Holiday. We're here in Atlanta. It's a lot of busy excitement growing here in Atlanta because Super Bowl 53 will be here in 53 days, quite honestly. Isn't so that crazy, it's, yeah. it's amazing. But in about 45 days, yourself, along with the likes of Jermaine Dupri and several other notable artists here right from Atlanta are going to have the opportunity to do something very big. You just revealed and let us know that DJ Holiday and friends will yeah. be be right across the street in Centennial Park, Olympic man. Centennial Park yeah. Centennial Olympic Park excuse me yeah. talk to me about how it all came about and how when Jermaine Dupree reached out to you and had you to have you a part of this epic moment man you know what uh, Jermaine actually like I said we always text like once every week just to check on each other you know he's a DJ I'm a DJ but he's a you know, huge producer one of my mentors and um like I said but when I, when I seen that he had the opportunity he um, to do this I text him like congratulations like always and he was like oh no don't congratulate me I I got something for you. So I was like, what, what, what are we doing? And he was like, you know, I got something. I got an idea. I just got to plan it out first. So hit me back in maybe like a week and a half. And he was like, yo, DJ Holiday and Friends. I was like, whoa. So at the end of the day, I was just like, man, that's overwhelming, crazy. You know, Super Bowl coming here is, is going to be phenomenal, man. And I'm so excited about it because, like I said, I've always been booked in every city where Super Bowl has been at uh, to do big parties and stuff like that. But now that it's in my hometown, my backyard, uh, it's only right that, you know, not just doing a big party, whatever, with a club, but now I get to do my own stage in Centennial Park, man, and that's going to be phenomenal, man. But for Jermaine to give me the opportunity, man, is, is, is life-changing, brother. Like, I, um, my, my family's going to talk about this forever because at the end of the day, you only get one Super Bowl. So, you know, it's going to be crazy. I'm excited, man. So the, the names of the artists that I have are just like the, 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 the bottom of what I'm building up. You know, we got like 45-something days. I'm working my butt off to make sure this show is going to be amazing. And DJ Holiday and Friends is definitely going to be one of the shows you're going to want to see. Let our audience know just a few of the people that you'll have. Like you revealed a few names that you'll have yeah. out there, the likes of K-Camp, yeah. Waka Faka. Let us know some of the other members that you'll have performing that you'll Well, you know, when I really thought about the lineup, man, I just wanted to get everybody who I know influenced me as far as uh, my on my rise to, to, uh, to fame and um, success and stuff like that in my career. And, you know, those guys, these are all my friends. Like I said, Jermaine hit all his friends up, like the Brad and whoever else. Uh, and, you know, College Park called off his friends. You know, these are my friends. So, for me to call Walker and say, yo, let's do Super Bowl. Uh, K Camp, let's do Super Bowl. Because I knew these guys from the day one, A1 before that record blew up and hit the charts and all that stuff like that. So to get those guys like a Walker, uh, you know, uh, who else? Um, uh, K Camp, to get, uh, of course, who else? Uh, Trinidad James, and to get, uh, you know, uh, the people I love now and I respect and I rock with, Ice Skin Keisha and, uh, and, and Rocco, and, and the list goes on and on and on. No, no, no. I can't remember all of them right now, but we're just we're, we're excited, man. This is going to be something very special for the city, man. Now, I know this is, we're here and we're talking about the Super Bowl, but I just want to briefly talk about another sporting event that recently took place that'll be bringing a lot more attention here in the world of, of yes. sports in Atlanta with yes. Atlanta United yes. winning the MLS Cup. Can you talk to me about how big that was and then just seeing fans out to celebrate on Monday when the parade came to town? And I know that, you know, the traditional sports of a city is possibly uh, football and basketball and baseball, but, uh, you know, for us, to have a soccer team. Shout out to Arthur Blank for bringing them here. Uh, you have to understand that you have we're opening the doors and doing bigger and better things, and um, you know, opening and showing you how wide and diverse our city is, man. As a community, uh, to have 73,000 people, um, 73,000 people come to one stadium to support a, a sports team, and then they win the chip. That's crazy. In the second so, year, in the second year, and I heard they were like really, really good last mm -hmm. year too. But that's big. That's amazing. I heard they went to um, Blue. Flame and went crazy, so that means they understand and know the they know the culture what's going on. So I'm excited, man. Like that's big in itself, and I'm I mean for that to happen and and if, if us to get the Super Bowl and you know just for the artists that's you know, going to the next level with music, you know what else can you ask for, man? This is a great place to be from and live here, and you know I just I love supporting this city and doing everything I can. I wear the city on my back. Every city I go to when I DJ, when I'm representing holiday season, my brand and all that stuff like that, man. Before I let you go so you can celebrate with friends and family about today's big announcement, what's next for you in music? What do you have coming up in the music realm? Uh, well, you know, me and uh, L.A. Reed got a situation over there at Hit Co. and I'm excited. Uh, you know, I recently uh, signed two artists, uh, uh, One Play, who had a great, great, okay. great, great okay. 2018 okay. year, man. So I'm excited for him. I just signed a new kid from um, uh, St. Louis named Mark Q. That he's 
very, very promising, man. He's doing a lot of uh, stuff with Usher right now. Jermaine had his hands on him. So we're big. We're, we're, we're excited about that. But um, on top of that, um, you know, like I said, the uh, two-seater record did very, very well. Shout out to Quavo and 21 Savage for blessing me with that. Uh, I got a new one on the way. Okay. Uh, I can't drop it to January, okay. but okay. Tory Lanez did the hook. Uh, Money Bag Yo's on it, A Boogie's on it, and I'm excited. And I, I got a street record that I'm gonna put out just to get the streets um, involved uh, um, with Gunner and um, Money Bag Yo too as well. So I'm excited, man. I mean, you know, I I try to wear all my hats, man, and <laughs> just get out here and stay consistent. And you know me, man. I'm seeing that on the red carpet with the BT Awards and stuff like that. Shout out to Jesse. I'm actually headed over to uh, with Jesse right now. We're shooting a Netflix um, show okay, right now with okay, Ti. Okay, so I'm gonna head over there right now and do that show. So yeah, man, that's it, man. We're just working, man. Thank you, sister. Terrell Thomas out here right now with the one and only DJ Holiday. If you're coming to Atlanta or if you're from Atlanta, if you live in Atlanta, Super it's Bowl. going down Super Bowl week. This gentleman's got Come a lot of stories. Congratulations, player. It's going to be amazing. Thank you Are for you your time. I'm going to be there for sure, for Front sure. Front row. Front row. Lit. Maybe backstage. You know what I'm saying? All right. My brother. <laughs> Much love, love you, bro. Appreciate it.